Hey everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending April the 29th, 2022. Interesting week. We got uh, we have some good corporate earnings. Overall earnings for the quarter uh, uh, quarter one was were, were all coming in pretty well. There's a few spots that are big names that hurt, like Amazon today. That really came in and that set the Nasdaq into a tailspin. What really happened, though, I, I think it was was more than anything else, is that it came out. According to the news uh, sources, it came out that uh, that the Fed's favorite inflation gauge uh, popped 5.2 percent in March, and uh, so that that's likely putting in place uh, the 50 basis point uh, hike in May. I don't know why anybody thought that that was going to go away at this point. So uh, whatever reason, uh, anyway, uh, tech heavy NASDAQ is really uh, into a death spiral right now. I shouldn't overstate it. It's, it's moving down, uh, headed towards support. And we'll see. We're still in this. All the major indexes still in the, they're at the lower level uh, of it, uh, the lowest that we've seen since the beginning of the year. Uh, but uh, they're still in this range bound activity. That's likely and to. I'm not trying to forecast the future, but we're just looking at, at what's been going on. If it doesn't break lower, I suppose this well could. Uh, but a lot of this, a lot of this rate hikes are bound to be priced in. That's what we've been uh, we've been saying. Uh, the people a lot smarter than us have been saying for a long time. A lot of it's priced in. So we're going to continue to trade the market right now as it presents itself. But you have to know that perhaps uh, the the 5.2 on the uh, uh, the inflation gauge that the Fed focuses on it's the uh, the consumption index is what it is personal consumption and uh, it actually was a tenth of a percent lower than what the Dow estimates were uh, had it had it down uh, to be at 5.3 so it went up 5.2 another good thing here that's lurking in the background is that. Uh, although employment cost index, according to CNBC, had increased 1.4 percent, the thing is, is that is that wages are starting to fall. Okay, and so people, uh, consumers, are having to dip into savings. That's bad from a human standpoint in terms of suffering, but from a market standpoint. Uh, you get to start looking at and thinking, okay, maybe we're starting to get away from this peak inflation. Maybe the rate. Maybe it's still increasing, but the rate of growth is slowing on, on inflation. So maybe it's going to start tapering off because if people are starting to have to dip into savings, that means they're going to stop paying the higher prices and that's going to have its own effect on, um, on inflation as the summer begins. So arguably, this is one of the most complex investing uh, environments of, of our lives. Bubbles are bursting everywhere. Dominoes are starting to fall on real estate, uh, on residential real estate market. Uh, that's uh, that's starting to cool off. You've got a five percent uh, uh, loan environment right now, uh, so that that uh, is starting to be kicked around more and more. You're starting to see headlines around that the uh, the bubble on on housing may be getting ready to burst. Now there's still a lot of demand, so maybe we're months ahead of that. But we're starting to see those factors fall into place and being talked about. The more people talk about them, the more it tends to happen. So bubble, that bubble's uh, maybe uh, about to burst. The tech bubble's clearly burst. Uh, you know, we've got inflation everywhere. The wars disrupting economies. You've got still COVID uh, going on in China, uh, disrupting ch uh, su supply chains. So a lot of reason to be contracting right now, a lot of reason to be tense. But... At the same time, an old saying uh, was was given to me again, reminded because because Buffett is doing uh, the Berkshire uh, Hathaway uh, annual meeting right now in uh, Nebraska, and uh, the old saying that that Buffett was uh, one of the ones that he was really famous for is that the stock market's a, a, a great device for taking money away from impatient people and rewarding patient people with that money. It's a, it's a wealth transfer de device from the impatient to the patient. So what I'm about to say is that this is probably, with all of the problems that we have, could be one of the best market conditions for the type of money management that we do, the, the tactical trading. We're not timing the market. It's not market timing. This is tactical money management versus the traditional just buy and hold investing, okay? We have the data, that's long-term data that supports our proposition. Been uh, doing this for a long time. And so 
right now you look at see if the if the the trim, primary trend this is a different one this is a different one because for stocks and bonds we're going down this is a rarity okay so a lot of people are new to the market they're not going to be prepared for all this all right and so as we go forward we're going to be in a situation where we're probably going to need to be nimble and move uh, fairly fairly quickly and trade off and in order to maximize these opportunities. That doesn't mean we have to be overly risky with everyone's money. We're going to custom fit a suit that to your particular risk tolerance that you're going to be comfortable with. But our goal is to is to within those risk tolerances still outperform and give you the best return uh, in those particular situations that you're comfortable with. All right. So that we're moving forward we're beating the markets and we're beating the average investor okay our job is not to manage returns our job is to manage the risk if we do that very well and so far we have a, a great record of doing that uh, then the returns I, I urge would take care of themselves so we're seeing we're seeing a lot of things maybe start stop owning stocks maybe renting stocks for a while as we're going forward and then we've got a few uh, opportunities that will present themselves from time to time. We're in one currently this, this week. It's a, uh, it's a strategic thing that we do periodically uh, throughout the years. And so bottom line, we've got a lot of reason to be excited. We've got a lot of things, ex exciting things going on at Asset Guidance Group. So if you haven't uh, updated your risk profile in a, in a while, it's time to do so because this kind of a market changes everybody's risk uh, appetite. And so we're going to be sending those uh, new forms out for everybody to update. And, uh, and, and then if you haven't spoken to us for a, in a while, by all means, reach out. Uh, we're uh, going to be giving one last uh, move forward here in terms of plan development before we get into the summer and everybody starts taking a break and leaving town for the summer. Uh, and so uh, that's going to be that opportunity for you to reach out. We'll give you some personal attention and revamp your plan, readjust your plan, get it, get you back on track where you need to be because a lot of people's plan, given the last couple of weeks market performance, is bound to have changed, okay? I know your risk appetite is. So until then, until next week, enjoy this beautiful weather and things will be, get better. They're getting better. You're just going to have to let it work out. So meanwhile, be happy. It's the key to longevity.